Bruce, last week it was the UAE, now China, next week it's NASA. Why so many Mars missions now? This is the, the time to uh, aim for Mars because the position of Mars relative to Earth is the closest that it'll be for, I think, 26 months. So there's a, a, a small window, which is the, the time to launch a probe to Mars. And Bruce, David here, what, what sets this specific mission of China apart from the other missions we've seen in the past, given, of course, that it is a good window to do so? China hasn't yet uh, had a successful Mars mission. They tried many years ago to send a probe to Mars um, that ne never really made it past the Earth's atmosphere. Um, it was on a Russian rocket that failed. Um, so this would be a, a big achievement for China. Um, uh, the Chinese are trying to do a lot of things with this one mission. They're sending a ro uh, an orbiter, a lander, and a rover. Um, so three things all in one, um, which, is, uh, which is different than what a lot of other countries do when they try to explore Mars. Uh, that sounds fairly ambitious, Bruce. So how does this fit into the broader strategy when it comes to space for China? Well, um, you're right, it is ambitious. Um, uh, landing on Mars is hard, obviously. You know, anything in space is hard. But landing on Mars is particularly hard. It's, it's harder than, say, landing on the moon because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere. So it's not as complicated to get a, a craft down onto the moon's surface. Uh, Mars does have an atmosphere, so it's a whole level of complexity higher than landing on the moon, which China has done. Um, China was the first country to, and the only country to, land a probe on the the far side of the moon. They did that last year. Uh, China also has plans to build a space station of its own. Um, they're not part of the International Space Station. Um, uh, China has plans to um, explore other planets, to explore comet. Uh, you, you name it. They, they, they've got uh, they've got it planned. Are we back to the space race at the sixties, Bruce? And you know, back then. Can't remember who benefited. I wasn't born yet. But, you know, who might benefit now in terms of business opportunities when it comes to this maybe new space race? Um, well, yeah, there, um, there are a lot of indications that we are in something similar to um, the Cold War era space race. Um, back then, it was the U.S. versus the Soviet Union, and a lot of it was about bragging rights. Um, you know, who was going to get to the moon? Um, you know, the, the Mars mission is a little bit like that. It's it, 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 There's not a big um, uh, strategic advantage uh, for China in sending a, you know, a scientific ex expedition to Mars. Um, mm. There's not a lot of business involved. Um, so this is, you know, this is about prestige. But there are other things that um, are, you know, much more about you know, business on Earth. So, like, China has a satellite network that they've recently completed that will compete with GPS. So that's something that could you know, have real benefits for business.